Hello, this is All9 Offline. Welcome back to another Casuals Quick Guide to Call of Duty Mobile. For today's video, we'll be covering the Elkhart 9. Introduced in Season 6 of 22, the Elkar is a high-capacity, fully automatic machine pistol that was added from Black Ops 3. Contrary to its in-game description, it neither has low mobility nor is it a burst fire. But why does it say that? To understand, the Elkar is based on the real-life PDW by VBR Belgium. Its first appearance in the Call of Duty franchise was in Ghosts as a burst weapon and then returned in Advanced Warfare as a full automatic. So why is its name different in Black Ops 3? It's because VBR and its founder didn't want it to be used without permission. He also didn't take too kindly to being repeatedly ignored. So if you have ever wondered why Call of Duty is hesitant to use the real names of its guns, this is why. As for the weapon itself, it's a prototype personal defense weapon that was intended to fire a unique 792x24mm cartridge to penetrate body armor. It uses the same double action as the Beretta 92 and uses Glock magazines. A proposed civilian CQBW variant is also available in the more familiar 5.7 and 4.6mm. But since it's still a prototype, its future remains uncertain. Base damage per shot is moderately low. It'll kill in 4 shots up until 6 meters, 5 shots till 12, and dropping down to 7 beyond that. Being a true automatic, its fire rate is the fastest in the pistol class, at around 720 rounds per minute. This may sound impressive, but its time to kill is average at best and at point blank. Headshots deal 10% more damage and legs deal 10% less. This means that headshots don't matter and you need all 4 shots above the waist within 6 meters to 4 shot, otherwise you'd have to land a majority of leg shots to kill slower. In terms of bloom, the Elkar is relatively average. If our performance and flinch are the same as its fellow handguns. Regal starts light, but after the first 8 or so rounds it starts to kick strongly to the right, before rising to the upper left if you use extended magazines. If you must, I would recommend bursting your shots at mid-range. As for movement, ADS, and sprint out times, the Elkar is standard for the pistol class, and with attachments it has the fastest strafing speed in the entire game, with the MAC-10 and KSB-45 as runner-ups. However, other pistols can achieve faster sprinting speeds with a short barrel. It also has the largest base magazine size of any pistol, with 20 rounds, which can be extended to 30. From my experience, the Elkar is not used that often. It's a true secondary, it's no replacement for a primary. Yes, it has the fastest time to kill among the handguns, except for the two-tap of a J3 revolver with lightweight trigger, or the one burst of a Renetti. But when compared outside its class, it's average. The Elkar shines in two areas. Either you combine it with Skulker and Dead Silence and Strafe Check Corners in a tactical manner, or you use it to finish off a wounded enemy because... Remember, switching to your pistol is always faster than reloading. Using your knife is even faster than switching to your pistol. Melee weapons are very popular at the moment, especially the Pally Sticks and Butterfly Knife, now with the recently added Commando-like aim-locked melee launch. So what could be done to the Elkar that would allow it to combat this? Give it a Kimbo. If we use the Deagle as a template for all pistols, a Kimbo reduces your initial damage by about 14%, and reduces the fire rate of each individual gun by about 17%. And it doesn't actually affect your reload times, aside from removing your ability to ADS and thus reload cancel. With this in mind, Akimbo Elkars could kill as fast as the MAC-10 and would be hitscan, but only if you land all your shots above the waist, which may not be possible if you're stuck hip firing. And this is a more obscure idea, but since it was a burst weapon in Ghosts, well if we take the M16's wildfire perk as a template and reverse it, then it would end up with a fire rate of over 900 RPM and its recoil would be reduced. But it wouldn't be able to one burst, essentially turning it into a Chicom from earlier this year. Maybe give it an even shorter burst delay? 
But I, that's just my opinion. This has been a casual's quick guide. Feel free to suggest what weapons you want to see covered next. My name is On, and I'm off.